boy from Vsite, the Bengal Dragon. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, bell notification buttons. Right, um, uh, sorry for the delay, but good lord, semester has just started again. And with that, as busy as a doctoral student can get uh, on top of doing work for the university. So, yeah, I'm a little pressed for time and, like, you know, barely find enough time on the weekends. So, and uh, just as an announcement, the Tekken uh, tribute video is also going to be delayed. Because, uh, good lord, I didn't have time to, like, you know, get to it pretty much at all. So, anyways, this video is going to be about a uh, squad analysis and a preview for the New Zealand tour of Bangladesh that's consisting of, I believe, five T20s. Okay. Now. First of all, I mentioned this before in a previous video. New Zealand are better prepared because they have not only faced Bangladesh more often. And by the way, in terms of cricket boards, New Zealand is one that has treated us right. So I have nothing but respect for the New Zealand cricket board. They have treated us right. And... I wish other countries would treat us as well as New Zealand has. Anyways, uh, I'm looking at I'm looking at our neighbors, well, uh, especially India. But, anyways, um, I mean, when it comes to bilateral series, anyways, New Zealand, yes, a lot of them are their uh, non-usual players, but I believe they still have some good ones. I like Tom Latham, still experienced with uh, New Zealand. Uh, what you call it his name um, Colin de Granholm also experienced with New Zealand and Colin de Granholm he is the golden arm guy especially with the ball because um, I remember there was a point whenever he got the ball he got a wicket especially in the limited overs format so Bangladesh will definitely have to uh, be careful of that but other than that um, a lot of them are actually relatively new faces um, I know Finn Allen is not going to show up because he got tested positive, so I believe his replacement is Matt Henry. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how Matt Henry performs in these type of conditions. Because in pagey conditions, uh, Matt Henry, Neil Wagner, uh, you know, Tim Saudi, um, you know, Trent Bolt, Lockie Ferguson, even Adam Mills, uh, although Adam Mills is a, is a little expensive, but all of them are very good players. But it's interesting to see what's going to happen. And obviously, uh, a lot of New Zealand players are going to uh, play the IPL, and so are two of the Bangladeshi players. Uh, at least that's, you know, the word coming out right now. Now, for, for the Bangladeshi team, uh, Tommy McBall is not back yet, but he will be back, and you know he's going to play the World Cup. And yes, Bangladesh will have to play some qualifying rounds, and that'll be the best time for Tommy McBall to actually get himself match ready okay the person or people who came in i believe are mushfiqur rahim and Litton das and amirul islam biplop and that's a good thing to see that bangladesh are including leg spinners or a leg spinner better than zero leg spinner we have one leg spinner okay and who's being left out is muhammad mithun um you could say it's sort of unfortunate um because the, if you put these people in, someone has to be left out. And you know from history that not all 17 people will get a game in this series. You know that. They'll, in fact, they'll be very lucky if they get a game. If all 17 pe people get at least one game. So, that being said, Bangladesh are pretty much going in with the same formula. It'll be interesting to see where they place Nurul Hassan or Shamim Hussain Patwari, considering that Litton Das and Mushuk Rahim are returning. There's a good chance that Litton Das is going to be placed up the order. So, let us see who they replace, Muhammad Naim or Shomu Sharkar. I have a feeling it's going to be Shomu Sharkar because Bangladesh have enough bowling options, and uh, like when, especially when you consider Muhammad Saifuddin. Uh, we have enough bowling options, enough all-rounders, so we have Mahmudullah, and this is going to be a spin-friendly wicket, so Shakibul Hassan, Sheikh Mahadi, Nasu Ahmad, Shoreful Islam, uh, Pepe's attack, 
Mustafizur Rahman also pays the tax, and especially Mustafizur Rahman, uh, the exception being that he is a pace bowler who can bowl in spin friendly conditions. So, Bangladesh are going in pretty strong, however, Bangladesh cannot become complacent because Bangladesh are facing a team which are not only better in terms of current form when it comes to international cricket in New Zealand, by the way, real world champions in ODIs, but also are much more familiar with Bangladesh. And I believe they even have Tilan Samanavira, one of our former batting coaches, working with them. And also they've taken special prep, uh, special preparations and special training, especially in New Zealand, like considering the loss of Australia, the 4-1 defeat of Australia. That being said, if Mushrik Rahim returns, see, I want a chain of Shakib al Hassan, Mushrik Rahim, and Mahmudullah. These three should follow in succession. There should not be a gap. Wherever these three play, there should not be a gap. And that is one thing I'm seeing in ODIs, or hopefully it's stopped now. But for a very long time, there used to be a gap between Shakib Al-Tan, Mushrik Rahim, and Mahmoud Allah. Somewhere in the middle, there was a gap. These are our three best batsmen, and we need these three best batsmen to come one after the other. Otherwise, if an inexperienced batsman comes in, like let's say Afif Hussain, Although Afif Hussain, you know, he, he's playing pretty good. And by the way, Afif Hussain also a batting option. So if Afif Hussain comes in, he takes some time to get settled, to, you know, in the wicket. That same time, if it goes to a more experienced player, there's a good chance that that more experienced player will take less number of deliveries to get settled into the wicket. And then, like, you know, make more use of the deliveries once the experienced player is settled in the wicket. That's essentially the whole point of experience it's it's like you know in-game experience so with that being said uh, there's nothing much to say exactly hopefully Muhammad Mithin can make a comeback uh, properly and if someone does not perform Muhammad Mithin is, is sitting right there at the bench especially in the middle order if someone doesn't perform Muhammad Mithin is sitting right there just to come back and Bangladesh they have not looked this well-rounded in a very, very long time. My series predictions, if Bangladesh were to win the series, it'll be 3-2. I don't see a 4-1 or a 5-0 happening, but I have said that before, and I have been proven wrong before, especially against Australia. In fact, everyone has been proven wrong before. No, First of all, no one thought we we're going to win a series. Second, no one thought we were going to win a series 4-1. And third, no one thought that the one that we lost would be so close. That it, we actually came very close to 5-0. So, that being said, New Zealand will have a lot of spinners. They're not going to do the mistake of Australia. And this will be a much more tightly fought contest. Realistically speaking, Bangladesh might lose the series but they will win at least a game or two. And as for records being broken, Shakib is going to break the record of the highest wicket taker in T20 cricket and like, you know, being, you know, once again cemented as one of the greatest all-rounders across cricket. Certainly more than Ravindra Jadeja. Certainly greater than Ravindra, uh, Ravindra uh, Jadeja. <laughs> yes, uh, I've, I've seen highlights of the of, of the cricket of the of the test cricket matches that happened in England, in India. Anyways, please do leave your likes and com uh, and uh, likes and please do subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. And let's have a healthy discussion about um, what's going to happen or what might happen. Who would you have liked to have seen in the Bangladeshi or New Zealand side? And uh, who would you have seen left out? Right? This is your boy Tanvir Sai, the Bengal Dragon, signing out.